Well, since we are back, I want we've been wanting to show I've been wanting to show this to Liz because, you know, Liz in her past was an exotic dancer herself. I was a cam girl. I was a Okay, wait. So I was a stripper for 5 years. Mm-hmm. And then I was a cam girl for five years. And then I was uh, an escort for three years. Something like that. Oh, wow. Okay. Something like that. Something like that. So yeah. I've I've got my badges. you got my badges. So I like badges. on TikTok, they have a hashtag called Trip Talk or Shripa Talk. Uh-huh. And, um, or they also call it Scripper. I don't know. That's Scripper. Yeah, and so, and so I just wanted to show you one of the videos and see if you like are like, all right, like that, you know, because people are drawn to it. This one has 1.7 million likes. Wow. So, Before, so. like, 10 or 15 years ago, like, no one wanted to talk about it. They're like, keep it hush, hush. It was yeah. like old school style a little bit still. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at it. Where should I start? Let's see. She works at the penthouse. She's about to go on stage. That's crazy because back then we weren't allowed to bring our phones on stage. Mm. Anywhere in the entertaining area, you're not allowed to bring your phone. But that's crazy. Things have changed a lot. So she's in the locker room and she's showing her outfit. So she's creating this world too. She's showing her stacks right now. That's where I did. That's All just right. one of the videos. So let's let's go over that. <laughs> She's a very pretty girl, and I have no doubt that she makes a lot of money every night and stuff. But she's um, – I'm not judging at all, but I just would like to also break it down for people that, like, just see the smooth – trans like smooth process into her day right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like i came to work here's my outfit um like i'm go- about to go on stage and you know like there's a lot of things that she's not mentioning okay first of all that pole that stage is fucking filthy as fuck <laughs> It is covered with juices and saliva and, like, people don't wash their hands and they do not clean that pole, like, all the time. Mm. I don't know how it is after COVID, but it's just, like, yes, you can look very sexy on there, but it's just, like, you don't really think about it because you're, like, in the moment, but Mm -hmm. it's so nasty, that pole. (laughs) And I got – because – Cause like when girls are doing twirls, there's some girls that don't do any work pole work, and mm-hmm. then there's girls that just like they're humping, they're like sliding off that pole with their coochie on their it, snail and stuff. trail, yeah. yeah there's... <laughs> oh yeah, but their snail trail and like you know these girls like some of them are drunk, mm-hmm. so they they're puking in the bathroom, and then you get charged if you don't go on stage. When they call you, oh, you get penalized. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. So there's sometimes girls that are just like rushing out of the bathroom, not washing their hands or like Ugh. touch their coochie or wipe their butt or whatever. And they just go flying to the stage because they don't want to get penalized. Mm. Okay. How much do they penalize you for? They take away your Depends money? Depends on which. If it's like a small club, they might like let you go. Mm. And then um, the – and then – the big ones, like in Las Vegas that I worked at, they'll penalize you for like fifty bucks. Oh or wow! Like, okay, it's 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 a lot. Mm-hmm, like you know, mm-hmm. you don't want. And also, also you're you're paying to work there at these bigger clubs too. Oh, so you pay you pay to work there. Yes, you're paying them. Yes, I forgot how much it was, but it was a big chunk. It was like seventy five or a hundred. If you come earlier in the day, if you stay all day and night. Mm-hmm. If you start in the day, like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., mm-hmm. they won't charge you as much because there's less girls and they mm. want you to come in. So they're like, why don't you come in early, work 24 hours so you don't have to pay like 120 to work tonight. Oh, my. I had no idea you paid them yes. to work there. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it's like crazy when you get hired at these clubs, too. Like, they'll ask you to come at a certain time. And then you go get changed, and then you line up with all the other girls, and they look you up and down. Mm. Like, some places they weigh you. Oh, wow. But now I think it's, like, diversity. You know what I mean? Like, they want more girls of different 
shapes size and, and shapes and sizes and stuff. But like, yeah, like you have to kind of like go through all that, sub- be subjugated uh, and stuff. I mean, the whole job is being subjugated. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, totally. Am I saying that right? Uh, subjected. Subject- <laughs> it's okay. Subject. It's totally fine. Subject. <laughs> you got to correct me, Debbie. Well, I'm gonna let you I'm be. I'm like a fool. Uh, no, you're just subjected to to, subjected. to all these things, and uh, yeah, it's crazy that you're objectified and you're just turned into yeah like, a thing. I feel like a cattle. Like you know, yes. they weigh you and they yeah they make sure you look good. Yeah. And like I don't know who man. is the money cow. That's what they're doing. Oh, wow. Who is the money cow? Who <laughs> is the money cow here? Wow. Um. Yes, everything she's doing is true in there. There's nothing, like, fake about that girl's video mm-hmm. at all. But it's just, like, she doesn't show the in-between dramas. Like, I'm sure there's nights where she's fucking drunk out of her mind because, like, she doesn't want to be there. Mm. She's She does this every day. She has to deal with dicks. Like, yeah. D- literally dicks. And yeah. also, like, dickheads. Yeah. Jerks. You know, people being disrespectful, you know, like, touching you when you tell them no. Mm. Like, like just even, like, smelling. You have to get so close to the customer that, like, you have to smell their breath. Mm. You know, you're not always getting the best of society in there, yeah, ladies. Yeah. Okay? You don't think, like, you're going to go that. Yeah, once in a while, you'll get, like, a really cute girl or a really cute guy. And they're, like, so cool and, like... Mm everything like it's like a party like Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but there are nights where it's just like like i'm telling you like before we had a clip like you know there's sometimes jizz on you Mm. or like maybe someone like can't handle a liquor and i never got vomited on but i've seen it happen you know what i mean like girls getting vomited on Uh. and just like nights there's a lot of non-pretty and glamorous things about being a stripper Mm. and plus all that cash that she's holding viral load it's yeah 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 money is dirty people and you're yeah. they're throwing that on you mm-hmm. on you and on the floor and and it's just like everywhere, everywhere. absorbing touched, all the juices touched and also you're sweating on stage yeah. so your pores are open and it's like it's like all these little things that you just don't think about you no, know no. i'm telling you dancing is not glamorous, okay? Mm-hmm. There's there's little little s- sprinkles and sparkles of of glamour, yes, mm-hmm. but really you don't really mess with like the best people. The environment is not that great. Some some places like where I worked at, I, I think a penthouse. Like I don't know where that's at, but in Nevada, I don't know if they change a the lot, but people smoke. You were allowed to smoke indoors. So you're inhaling cigarette smell. And by the end of the night, you smell like body spray. Ass. Ass. Um, cigarettes. Oh, my gosh. Um, just like you have this weird smell that r- comes off of your stuff. Oh. Like you just want to take a shower right when you get home. Oh, I bet. You want to wash everything, like wipe everything down. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like you don't feel good no no not in that kind of environment after a while it's like yeah the money might be good but like at what cost at what cost she makes seven hundred dollars but i mean i rarely knew any strippers and i've worked in three different states with a bunch of other and i'm not saying all sorts some strippers are so smart but like you have to have a plan when you're going to that thing. You have to be like, my sacrifices, all these like I, that I'm doing right now, um, subjecting myself and also having to deal with just like ugh, sometimes really rough people. Even if they're rich, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they are not the best quality of people. Yeah. You know? And they're always trying to get into your pants. Yeah. It's like 24-7 people trying to get into your fucking pants. And you have to... Okay, like, you have to sell bottles when you're in the VIP. So, who's fucking doing all the drinking? You want to hurry up and drink that so you can sell another bottle. That's how you make cash. And think about, okay, like, drinking on the weekend is cool. It's fun. 
But if you're drinking every <laughs> on a Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah, yeah, someone could buy a bottle like at 10 a.m. in the morning. What if you're, was there, did you meet, I, I don't know, did you meet any strippers that did not drink alcohol, alcohol that would not drink alcohol? rare but then the guys would just be like oh you're no fun yeah okay yeah you have to do that whole like party girl thing Mm. you'd be like because you want to be the there's so many girls like obviously she's also showing the competition like Mm -hmm. i'm sure there's moments in doubt in every girl's mind like am i good enough am Mm. i the hottest you know oh they didn't pick me i'm not hot Mm. like there's moments high low high low I rarely met a really sincerely happy stripper. <laughs> a really okay? sincerely happy stripper. Honestly, that just like it gets to you mentally, like your self esteem, your confidence. Like yeah, because there's a lot day. of beautiful women out there, and like and then not so many, and not so many too. But they being compared, non-stop, yeah, compared, and you're yeah. just like. Gosh, why didn't I get picked? Or like, oh no, yeah. I didn't. I didn't make so much today. Oh, like, what's constant wrong rejection. With me? Oh. I will tell you, even the hottest chick, the hottest, like, number one girl gets rejected thousands of times. Ugh. Thousands. Thousands. And on top of that, not just get – the rejection is okay. Yeah, yeah. But then them, like, slapping you on the ass when you're just walking around. Mm. And then on top of that, like, you having to play, like – not flirty, but you have to be in good terms with all the crew, like the door guys, mm. the security, the DJ, mm-hmm. you know, like it's this whole like there's politics going on inside the, the strip club. So yeah. like, yes, yeah, she makes it. She she nothing that she showed in that TikTok was um, incorrect. But like the way she, I mean, honestly, the when you seamless. watch it, she makes it seamless. You watch it, you're just like, wow, like she's making money, like that's mm-hmm. awesome, and she looks like she's has a good life. Mm-hmm. She looks like she's happy. Yeah, she's enjoying herself. Yeah, that's easy, what it looks like. Easy life, easy breezy, making that money. Like yeah, you know, it, it, I can see the appeal mm-hmm. for younger girls who are thinking, I want to do that. Yeah. I don't think that there's a problem her showing her life. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone has the right to share their life and get to put up whatever. But I think at the same time, I feel, I wish, I wish, um, not demanding, but I wish she could maybe do some talks too. Like, hey, my life, I make it look like seamlessly because I enjoy filming it that way. Mm-hmm. Like these little parts. And, mm-hmm. you know, as a creator, I like putting it together. But at the same time, I just want to warn you guys, nothing is as it seems. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you just mean. It's kind of like, not a but disclaimer, I, but, but I know, just... But I know some of these chicks just want to appear, no. make it no. appear that it's perfect. Because they think that they're at, like, even me, I thought that I was at the peakest. Like, I was just like, I, I have power, I have money, I'm making fucking, like, sometimes like $1,000 a night or more. And, you know, it's just like, you're like, I'm hot. And you're like, I can get fucking expensive bottles, you know, like like that. Or, you know, I know how to play with this guy's emotions. Mm. Or, like, I know how to make him want me. Or, you know, this it's power. Just, it's just, this is, this is power, but it's all, I don't, for me, I'm not saying for anyone else, but for me, like, the glamour of it faded fades away faded quickly quickly it's just like and it's just like at the end of the day i think it becomes just transactional you're like i'm just here to get this money Let's yeah go. yeah let's fucking do this yeah and and honestly there'd be days where you're not feeling like you want to work yeah like you're you're feeling sick or you're just feeling like not mentally there yeah and, so, and guys they can pick up on it mm. and they're just like while wow, you're being a fucking bitch or like you know yeah. what i mean like oh i don't want to i don't want to hang out with her because she's being too pushy mm. you know or like she doesn't want to party with me so like why would i even pay this bitch yeah. to be around uh. me you know what i mean i want to i want fun girls yeah yeah are you prepared to be fun 24 7 24 7 whenever they tell you and command you to do like,